Good day, students. I hope you are doing well and safe at this very moment. Now, to continue with our discussion, let us now move on to our next topic, which is the chemicals utilized in cleaning and sanitizing kitchen tools and equipment. And before we begin, let us first analyze the shown picture and its description and answer what it is referring to, if it is cleaning, sanitizing, or disinfecting. It says, reduces the number of bacteria in the environment significantly. This is known as, yes, sanitizing. The next one is that it destroys or irreversibly inactivates bacteria and viruses. This is known as disinfecting. And for the last one, of course, you probably know the answer. It says it removes oil from a surface but does not kill any organism. Alright, that is cleaning. I would like to show this to you firsthand before starting our lesson. The difference between cleaning, sanitizing, and disinfecting. Remember the word remove for cleaning, reduce for sanitizing, and destroy for disinfecting. The best and the safest way for your family to be safe during this pandemic is to use sanitizing agents and disinfecting chemicals before, during, and after entering the house, applying them into your grocery items, to your shoes, to your keys, anything that is exposed outside the house. This is very timely and relevant and is somehow related to our lesson. Moving on, let us first define cleaning in the perspective of food safety standards. So cleaning is the process of removing food and other types of soil from a surface such as dish, glass, or a cutting board. Cleaning is done with a cleaning agent that removes food soil or other substances. The right cleaning agent must be selected because not all cleaning agents can be used on food contact surfaces. What are food contact surfaces? A food contact surface is the surface of an equipment or a utensil that food normally comes into contact. For example, glass cleaners, metal cleaners, and most bathroom cleaners cannot be used because they might leave an unsafe residue on the food contact surface. The label should also indicate if the product can be used on a food contact surface. The right cleaning agent must also be selected to make cleaning easy. Sweeping the dirt out of your house is considered cleaning. Scraping the food and washing the dish with soap and water is cleaning. Things that we do to remove unnecessary residues or impurities on a surface is considered cleaning. Next, we define sanitizing, also in the definition provided by food and safety standards. Sanitizing is the process of reducing the number of microorganisms on surfaces to safe levels. It is also the application of heat, radiation, or chemicals for the purpose of cleaning and disinfecting thoroughly any foodware or tool. After sweeping the floor, applying chemicals like bleach is a mean of sanitizing by using chemicals. Washing the dishes with liquid soap with antibacterial properties is a way of sanitizing. Putting your utensils on a hot water and letting them sit for a minute is sanitizing. Disinfectants are very dangerous if used improperly. That is why most food contact services only use mild disinfectants or strong sanitizers to avoid poisoning or leftover residues that may be harmful to one's health. Now we continue with some of the used cleaning compounds used in cleaning and sanitizing your kitchen tools and equipment. Detergents. These are cleaning agents, solvents, or any substance used to wash tablewares, surfaces, and equipment. Detergents are cleansing agents. They could be in form of soap, liquid washing soap, powders, cleaners, acids, solvents, and abrasives, which will be elaborated in the succeeding slides. So we have three specific kinds of detergents considered as your cleaning compounds that are mostly used. The first one is the solvent cleaner, or commonly referred to as the greasers, used in surfaces where grease has burned on. 
Oven grills are examples of areas that need frequent degreasing. These products are alkaline based and are formulated to dissolve grease, can be purchased in supermarket or grocery stores. The second one is the acid cleaners. These are used periodically in removing mineral deposits and other soils that detergents cannot eliminate. This kind of product depends on the specific purpose it is used. This kind of chemical compounds are rarely found in our kitchens since they are mostly used in food establishments where tools and equipments are heavily used in cooking, although we have our very own liquid detergents that can also ease the job. And the third one is known as the abrasives, which are generally used to remove accumulation of soil that are difficult to remove with detergents, solvents, and acids. If you are having a hard time cleaning heavy soil tools or equipment, even after using a solvent or an acid cleaner, an abrasive is always there to back you up. These products must be carefully used to avoid damage to the surface being cleaned. Other chemicals used for cleaning and or sanitizing kitchen equipments and utensils are the following. Dishwashing liquid, chlorine, carbolic acids, disinfectants, soaps. Of course, before I end this lesson, let me first check if you learned something. Between cleaning and sanitizing, what is the process of reducing the number of microorganisms on surfaces to safe levels? Or using heat, radiation, or chemicals to kill microorganisms? I'll give you time. So the answer is sanitizing. How about the process of removing food and other types of soil from a surface such as a dish, a glass, or a cutting board? Remember the word remove. The answer is correct, cleaning. Now how about the three types of detergents that are primarily used as cleaning compounds? Solve the jumble letters and words. We have the first one as the solvent cleaners. Amazing. The second one as the acid cleaners. You are doing well. And the last one is the abrasives. You did great. So this sums up our lesson for today, and again, you need to do your activity and answer your quizzes. So just don't forget. I hope you learned something. Thank you and have a great day.